Good evening, Monday, June 5th. I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. Storms are in the forecast and a cool down tomorrow. Lonnie Quinn in the Weather Center with our forecast. Lonnie. Yeah, you know, as for the evening, it's it's really running the whole gamut. There's a, t a thunderstorm risk, but there's also just a little drizzle risk, depending on where you are. But you know what? Err on the side of caution. Plan on the possibility for a thunderstorm. Keep your eyes peeled to the sky and then for your day tomorrow. Kind of more of the same. Uh, Monday and Tuesday, not looking good. Tuesday, some rain, some drizzle as well. Cooler, cloudy skies overhead, high temp. You know, you guys were saying how the cool air is arriving tomorrow. Only 61 for a high. If you take a look across the board, remember this time of the year, you, you should be up close to pushing 80. We're going to go 70 on Thursday. It's still a slight risk for a bit of rain. Uh, then you get to Friday, 76 degrees, pretty decent finish to the work week. 83 on Saturday, that would be above average. That's working out nice for the weekend. 86 on Sunday. It's possible by Sunday going into Monday, some of you could be finding a 90 degree reading. I'm going to forecast 88 uh, in Central Park on Monday. But again, with that heat and humidity, notice a little a little flashing icons there. I think you could possibly have some thunderstorms in the area as well. That's a quick peek, guys, at the seven-day forecast. Let's go back to you, Christina Maurice. All right, Lonnie, thank you. In sports, the Golden State Warriors seem to be benefiting from a new weapon as they take on Cleveland in the NBA Finals. Oh, this is here with that. Wait a minute. Kevin Durant just shot another three and made it. <laughs> all right, it feels like deja vu all over again. The Warriors, after two games with a stranglehold on the NBA Finals against LeBron James and the Cavaliers, last year the Cavaliers were able to turn it around and win the series in seven games, but the Warriors Warriors didn't have Kevin Durant, and since April 19th, they were without their head coach, Steve Kerr, who says he felt well enough to return to the bench in coach game two. He got a rousing ovation before the game, and having a guy like Kevin Durant would make you feel good enough to pull up a chair on the sideline. Durant went for 35 points and 13 rebounds. Steph Curry had a triple-double, including the bucket after an impressive dribbling display on LeBron. Warriors take a 2-0 series lead with the 132-113 victory game three Wednesday in Cleveland. As we know, last year, they won game three, so they started building mm -hmm. momentum. Not going to happen <laughs> this year. I mean, they, they still may win game three, but this is, they, they, they would have to win four out of five. Right. It's, I don't think it's going to These guys are Oof. scary good. They are, and, they, and yeah. Clay Thompson hasn't really gotten going, and Draymond, I mean, it's, they just come at you in waves. That's right. It's impressive. All right. All right. Good show. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Thanks, Otis. So. Dozens of painted pianos have been rolled out across New York City for anyone who wants to play them. And a familiar face is helping to spread the word. That is John Batiste, the band leader for CBS's Late Show with Stephen Colbert, helping launch the sixth annual Sing for Hope project. It'll feature 60 pianos painted by famous artists. Today, all 60 pianos were unveiled and put to the test at Liberty Plaza downtown. It takes the artists two to three months to create these incredible works of art. You can see the level of detail on each one. We're looking forward to getting lots of videos and pictures from people uh, all around the city enjoying them. The pianos will be out on the streets of the city for anybody to play if they want. Through June 25th, you can check out the SFH Piano app to find the one nearest to you. And in the fall, each piano will be donated to a school. Everybody wins. Absolutely. It's a beautiful thing. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Maurice Dubois. And I'm Christine Johnson. Don't forget, we're always on at CBSNewYork.com. Have a great night.